Chairman, sir, uh, I would like to thank you for giving me this chance to speak on the, uh, the Honourable Finance Minister's uh, uh, speech on the budget. I am really uh, thankful to the Honourable Finance Minister, uh, to our Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, to our Chairperson, uh, Madam Sonia Gandhiji, for enlightening us and giving a very good budget to be placed uh, to, uh, before this House, August House. Uh, everyone is quoting on Sekshya, and I know that uh, when everyone is quoting, and uh, uh, some have even given a negative view, some have given a positive view, but uh, this world, like uh, in the Merchant of Venice, uh, when uh, Antonio speaks to his friend Bassonio and says, I take the world, a stage where every man must play a part and mine a sad one. And Bassinio says, let me play the fool. Sir, of course, uh, in this august house, uh, uh, we all feel that what our honorable finance minister said, he has responsibility, he has problems. Now, when we have a budget, it has, has to be either a surplus budget or a deficit budget. Uh, during uh, my term as a, on a minister in the state or as an MLA. So we used to have budgets, and in those budgets we used to have deficit budget. And people used to say, yes, a deficit budget is a good budget because it shows what the actual responsibility and what kind of uh, programs uh, we have for the state. But when we see in this uh, position of our Honourable Finance Minister, we see that he has some constraints, he has some reservations, and especially but when we see the whole uh, chapter of the speech, we'll see that at the end of the day, at the fact end of the day, we see that, yes, this is for our future, for our country, against all the turmoil, against the, the whole global, when the whole globe, globe is having in a, in a, you know, a financial crisis, our country is still having its own strength in the financial position. So hence, I would like to uh, really con uh, credit him and commend him for specially giving uh, some very specific cases for my own state in Arunachal Pradesh and also for the Northeast. Because uh, there's a very shortage of time, I would like to speak and give my emphasis only on the Northeast, sir. At the very outset, when we speak about the food security bill, so I would like to say that agriculture, when we go for agriculture, this is the main uh, kind of economy, because India is based on the economy of agriculture. We cannot make, uh, we cannot contest the Japanese in the, uh, their computers, we cannot contest the United States in their Rolls Royce or in the foreign cars, but the main emphasis is we have to go back to our agriculture. About 70% of our people depend on agriculture, and agriculture is the only way that we have to use our own boys and girls, the future boys and girls, to take up their own talents, to use their uh, scientific methods of farming, and compete in the world through not only for the food security, but also for giving employment to the future generations of our country. Sir, I must really comment our uh, honorable minister that uh, he has really given emphasis to the ICDS programs. Uh, we can see, sir, that uh, in the last uh, uh, budget, for, especially for malnutrition, we have seen, sir, we have special programs on malnutrition. We have, in fact, a core group of honorable MPs uh, led by uh, our Honourable Minister Sachin Pailajji and also Shah Nawaz Hosejji from the other side, irrespective of all parties. We have given very much emphasis to it. We have even met the Honourable uh, Prime Minister, the Honourable President, uh, Her Excellency, and we have seen that in this budget, our Honourable uh, Finance Minister has given an uh, increase and in allocation of more than 58 percent, which is very important, which can be, you know, these malnutrition in India is one of the most uh, backward countries where we have this problem of malnutrition. Now, through the ICTS programs, given allocation of 15,850 crores is a really big boost to all of us. I would also like to 
thank the Honorable Minister for giving us, uh, you know, scheme, a Rajiv Gandhi scheme for empowerment to adolescent and women through Sabla. Now you can see that especially in not only in the northeastern regions, but even in the states like uh, UP, Bihar, Jharkhand, or even to uh, Orissa or in Rajasthan, where women are given a second position. But through these schemes, through empowerment, someone was just uh, giving a statement today that if we give too much of emphasis to the women, then what happens is that, uh, especially in the Panchayati Raj, when uh, the 33% reservation is implemented, and now 50% is implemented, after the next election, after they become a Panchayati member, and then again when they come into as a, a second term, they do not like to leave the seat, and now it is for the men folk with that who is going to now look for reservations. But that is not a fact. Especially in a country like India, we are very much male dominant and we want that the ladies of our country should also come forward with the more, you know, prospective and more, you know, uh, determined, you know, way of uh, working. Now, sir, I wouldn't like to ponder much on that, but I would just like to tell you that uh, especially in uh, the northeast region, sir, we have a lot of difficulties, but through the new policy, of uh, our Honourable Minister, he has really taken uh, very much pains in the, in the textiles and the weaver section, how he has given, you know, special, you know, kind of centres in Mizoram, Nagaland, Jharkhand. So he has already announced a pilot scheme of 500 crores, which will be benefiting, especially to the women sectors who have, uh, you know, we have these uh, uh, textiles and industries, but they have to be uh, propagated, they have to be more developed, they have to be more, more scientifically, uh, you know, encouraged. So, uh, I wouldn't like to take much of the time, but when we speak about uh, the other, you know, the previous governments that were there, uh, especially in Arunachal Pradesh, when the previous government was there, they have given a lot of assurances to us, especially the 500 bedded uh, hospital, about the railways, about the uh, uh, greenfield airports, but nothing could be achieved. But since the UPA government, with the uh, guidance of uh, our chairperson, Madam Sonia Gandhi, we have now uh, got our uh, hospital now approved. Because I will tell you, I can just recollect that when our late uh, Deputy Prime Minister uh, and Mr. Pra Atal Bihari Baspa, the chairman, he, had, uh, he was the Prime Minister, he had assured that we would be given uh, 500 crores for a, a 500 bedded hospital. But nothing was, it was in vain. But our government has now really assured that and he has, they have approved it. And now we are very thankful to our uh, Prime Minister and the Finance Minister for giving so much, taking so much pains for the areas of the Northeast region. Really, frankly speaking, I will say in uh, one word in Hindi, ki loot ke oro ka dhan raj banaya hoga, mehz roti ke liye sekro ko mohtaj bana hoga, vahi sen sa vahem mea ke karve muntaz ka iktaj banaya hoga. Sir, I'll tell you that when our Honorable Minister Jaswan Singh, uh, uh, Jaswan Singh was saying and criticizing our Honorable uh, Finance Minister, I could see that the commitments that they make, they were not able to make. But now, the budget that uh, has been now placed before us, I'm sure everyone will uh, support it. I know that there may be some constraints. We may be having some difficulties, especially in the taxpayer section. But I know that to have a better kind of uh, a governance, we have to take, we have to shoulder responsibility equally. And I know that uh, the commitments, especially about the industrial policies, about the agriculture policies, about the education policies for the Northeast, our Honorable Finance Minister will keep in uh, regard for that and we'll uh, see that our Northeast will also be, will be able to go along with the rest of the country. With these words, I would like Thank to you really support the, the discussion budget. will Thank continue.